Foaming urine. When to worry? Have you ever had one of those moments when you caught a glimpse of your pee in the toilet and thought that there was something different about it? It may look a bit more bubbly, like someone dropped some soap in your stream. This isn't as strange as it sounds from time to time, and many people notice foamy pee. Well, let's talk about the causes. Number one, too much protein in the urine due to kidney disease. Did you know that too much protein in your urine could be the cause of some kidney problems? If your protein levels are too high in the urine, such as albumin in the urine, they can interact with liquid and create proteins that look like bubbles or foam. It's almost like your pee just took a nice bubble bath. Of course, if this is the case, we recommend checking in with a doctor to make sure that those bubbles aren't a sign of something serious. Now, as a diabetic, your doctor should check your protein in the urine at least every six months. I personally do every three months. But most of the time, mild protein in urine will not have any symptoms. Foamy urine is a common warning sign of chronic kidney disease. That is true. But other symptoms should be looked at as well, especially in advanced stage, which happens when people continue to postpone seeing their doctors and they end up with you know, chronic kidney disease or advanced kidney disease and so forth. But they may experience changes in urination frequency, for example, some pain, burning while urinating. They may see some blood in their urine, uh, swelling in the hands and legs and sometimes feet due to inability to remove the excess water. Some people end up getting shortness of breath because of the buildup of the fluid in the lungs and lower back pain due to location of their kidneys. But that typically doesn't happen unless you have a backup of urine in your kidneys. If you're experiencing any or all of these symptoms alongside a foamy urine, I would say make an appointment with your doctor immediately. Don't ignore the signs that, and then don't delay in seeking medical advice. See your diabetes doctor at least every three months. Don't say, ah, my blood sugar is okay, don't worry about it. It could make all the difference in obtaining good health outcomes. But what else can cause foamy and bubbly urine, right? That is really not that serious. Well, let's talk about this. Well. The speed of the urination, right? So we all know it is time to take a bathroom break when you have reached that certain fullness level. And we can all agree that the process of relieving fullness usually results in more than just a peaceful exhale. If your bladder is extra full, you may find yourself being a little extra cautious while executing the job at hand if you don't want to see bubbles. The speed and the force of your urine hitting the water might create miniature whirlpools like mini water cyclones. However, rest assured, knowing science has proven this extra burst of velocity will not cause any significant damage to the porcelain throne. Thank goodness. What else? Dehydration. When you are dehydrated, your body gets mad at you for not giving it enough water. So. It throws a tantrum in the form of bubbly urine. Even though it may feel like something to celebrate, it is actually your body's way of telling you, hey, I need water. Pay attention to the signals your body gives to you. And be sure to drink plenty of fluids to keep dehydration away. And it is bubbly side effects, right? Well, how about cleaning chemicals? It seems counterintuitive, but your toilet can get so clean that it starts to cause problems. It is true. If you have been overzealous in your cleaning regime, or if you have a cleaner that's too overzealous, the presence of toilet bowl cleaning chemicals may be causing a foamy urine appearance. So sure, you don't want your bathroom to resemble a dumpster, but trust me, when we say a bit less bleach is okay, to curb the foam situation and get back to normalcy, do an extra flush or two and give your toilet a break from those extra strong cleansers for a little of a while, okay? Well, the next one, medications. While it may seem like a strange side effect, but some medications can make your urine look like something out of a bubble bath. Believe it or not, 
drugs to treat urinary tract infections are the usual culprits behind this foamy phenomenon. So bottom line, foamy urine can be caused by too much protein, speed of urination, dehydration, cleaning chemicals, or medications. If you are experiencing any other symptoms alongside foamy urine, I would say make an appointment with a nephrologist. That's your best bet. Most of the time, mild protein in the urine will not have any symptoms. So, did you learn something? I think I told you enough. I hope you learned something today. And if you are experiencing the foamy urine situation, don't wait, especially if you have other symptoms. But if it is one of the reasons that I talked about, like speed of the urine, maybe you can control that and try it again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.